Hi there. I assume that you would have watched the prerequisites and the intro part of the pivot table because now we are going to step on the accelerator and start making the pivot table reports that we intend to. Simply watching the video won't help. Practice will. So take the initiative. Get access to all my YouTube practice files from the description given below. So as of now, I'm going to select the data lying in front of us, Control A, ensuring all the headings are proper with no columns with a blank heading. So once having done so, I go to insert tab and pick up the pivot table. The general prompt that it provides me is, do you want to use the same data which you have chosen? Of course, yes. And the new worksheet is the one where the pivot table grid area is going to be generated. Once that is generated, as we have seen earlier, I right click on the grid area, go to pivot table options, and then go to display, choose the classic pivot table layout option on. Okay. Once having done so, then let's start making our pivot table report. The starting point is going to be where I'm going to present the report in a manner which shows me what are the list of divisions and what salary are you paying to each division. So to to total salary that goes inside every division, that is what I'll be wanting. Not only that, I also want how many people are working in every division and finally average salary per employee for every division. So let's start. I go to division and I pick up this field. Now, practically speaking, you can make a tick mark on it directly takes to the row fields or else you can drag this using mouse and put it in the row fields. I find that very convenient. And once having done so, you get use the same thing as what we got earlier by checking this checkbox on. Also, this division, you can also throw inside this third box called rows. It automatically feeds that in the row field. So practically you have three options three ways, three approaches with which you are going to start making the pivot table report. If you liked how we explained the logic behind the tricks, why don't you check out our entire library? Use the link in the description below. Now, once having this division in front of my screen, next thing I want is salary total. Now, salary has to be a number, of course, and that I want a mathematical calculation of in terms of sum. So let me go to salary, drag this up and put there in the value field option. This is the area where we had referred as main action area or all mathematical calculations happen here. So I just throw that there. Uh -huh. Yes, I got a data. Let me optimize the window. I got a data which uh, spans over millions and it's telling me $95 million happens to be the total salary outflow for this organization. And this is the breakup. Now, eventually I'll be doing the formatting part of it. But as of now, let me also go ahead and apply a technique which gives me count of people. Now the trick is, I use the same salary field and drag it and put it on top of these set of numbers. Notice I am not throwing that on top of the header total, but on top of the numbers category area. This is the main action area. If I just release the mouse click, it's going to pop up with another column which says sum of salary. Now, what I'm going to do is, I am going to focus on this heading which says sum of salary. Why? Because if you double click on this header right now, you get something called value field settings. When do I double click? Wherever you get to see a terminology of mathematics. So I double click there. Now when I get to value field settings, I wonder what's containing inside it. Well, if I start reading about it, I will sleep. So let me get straight to the point. This particular tab, which allows you to change it to count, as you do so, you get the count of salary, 41 people working for division AD. If I double click again on the heading, you still get the same thing, value field settings, which you can change it to average. Wait, my question was get all three at one go. So let me bring back salary once again on top of the main action area, release the button of the mouse and then go to the third heading, double click. If you're not preferring double click, you may also right click and then go to value field settings. So this allows you to manipulate the calculation to let's say count. And once I do so, I get in sequence the sum of salary, average salary and the count of salary. It's very good technique if you want to have a summary sheet for any data you're working with. For example, if you have a sales data, you get to see how many client names are there and how many sales order have they given to you and what is the amount of sales that has been affected through them. If you have purchase data, you can find out all the vendor names. You can find out how many purchase order you have issued 
and what are the total amount of purchases that you have placed before them. So once having done so, I'll just take some extra seconds to ensure the formatting is picture perfect. So I go to home, I apply the comma style for the million separator and I reduce the decimal and there you go. This becomes your pivot table report. So this is a starting point. We'll do more stuff as we progress.